Hi all, welcome to Panchaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Now the most important application which is current trend in the technologies, it can be said as the uh, neural network. So neural network, it is nothing but connection of neurons and each and every neurons will be having some sort of data. And uh, whatever that MLDL applications currently whichever we are using for the, all the kinds of deep learning and machine learning or AA models, it is in the form of neural network. And inside this uh, different technologies we have many kinds of subordinates like uh, audio data and as well as image even video also can be trained towards the system so now uh, here we will be seeing so what is a neural network and uh, with the help of some basic point tracking method with the help of ground truth labeler inside the matlab how to create a object tracking as well as uh, to train into the neural network using the mat file so inside this neural network we have several kind of algorithms like uh, convolutional neural network back propagation neural network recurrent neural network region convolution neural network uh, like this kind of sections and from this once whenever we are working regarding inside this neural network each and every data whatever that has been trained towards the system trained towards uh, the particular algorithm by using that algorithm so in that of kinds of functions it can be interrelated for multiple purposes and those purposes can be said as the object detection or face recognition this kind of uh, different different applications can be created and why we are using the neural network means to get a good accuracy and to train as easy as possible according to the deep learning not all the algorithms uh, is suitable for all the applications for each and every applications we will be selecting the different different algorithms but here it is very difficult to uh, predict which algorithms use for which particular purpose uh, why means uh, once after testing only we will be able to know this algorithm suits for this particular section this algorithm suits, suits for that particular section like that so once uh, whenever you are creating regarding the neurons the most important parts of the neural networks are input layer hidden layer output layer so this is mandatory in all the algorithms and the only changes for example if you are going with cnn means the hidden layers of that particular conversion layer will be extended which is known as the hidden layer so some three hidden layers will be there minimum and if you go for google dnet you will be having 22 layers then uh, once when we go for this point of back propagation means whenever the error is obtained the same uh, error will be fed back into the input again and again until the error is reduced so therefore the hidden layers will be working inside the loop then once uh, whenever we are working regarding towards this kind of neurons so input layer it gets the input of the image or input of the data whatever we are providing hidden layer will be processing uh, with its multiple neurons and output layer will be known as the uh, relu activation or as well as getting that uh, concern output in a rearranged manner but whatever the input we are providing the same clarity won't be there because all the scattered and the compressed parts will be only rejoined and it will be displayed as the output layer on this particular output layer only here it will be just comparing the features of the test image as well as the database image so once uh, whenever the test image and the database images are same therefore whatever we have just matched it is about 70 percentage of accurate the so classification of neural networks here we have two types one is shallow neural network and another one is deep neural network in the shallow neural network there will be only one hidden layer this will be having highest accuracy but uh, since the neural network layer is one uh, whatever we are just trying to get a form of a depth analysis it is not very uh, accurate the analysis cannot be done in the form of accuracy but whatever we are going, trying to match 
uh, those will be as easy as possible uh, like olden kind of techniques sift or surf scalar invariant fourier transform and uh, this kind of functions only we can be seeing it as shallow neural networks one to one only that particular image we will be able to match it if you match only that particular image whatever you have trained then it will be showing the 100 percentage accuracy or 90 percentage but if you go for deep neural network we can train n number of image and among that if you just uh, show any other uh, data as input means therefore it will be able to recognize at least for 70 to 80 percentage of accuracy uh, the google lnet is having around of one uh, 22 layers 22 layers of count in that particular neural network and more than the 22 layers also available like 128 uh, densenet vgg16 etc so this kind of many functions are available to create or design that particular neural network codings so this is to train the data so before training the data first let us frame the video for it so go into the apps inside the matlab toolbox open the ground truth labeler take some time So here we have to uh, get import of our particular kind of source and uh, here I am taking my source as video. So here I have two uh, videos of a particular fire direction. So our concept is for fire direction only as a demo and here I am taking this particular video. Now inside this video wherever the fire is there I have to label it. And before labeling it, you can uh, select the label section. So click on label and type it as fire. Now the labeling uh, will be done in the form of rectangle. And uh, click on OK. So now the label is ready. Now we have to select the algorithm. So here I am taking point tracker as an algorithm so wherever we are marking that particular points will be tracked okay if we want to provide automate that automate also can be applied but first we have to just at least show uh, which uh, should be tracked over there thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel